still talking about canceling uh, the season? They so there are so many different voices on this. Uh, actually, here if you got a couple minutes, we'll uh, we'll go on and bring you in on this topic. Um, so Mike Gundy, uh, we talked about Dabo Sweeney. He's a uh, Clemson's head coach last week, and Clemson, you know, or Dabo yeah. said that, hey, we're gonna have football. I, I'll go on and bank on it right now. We're gonna be back and rolling. Everybody will be back over the summer, and we'll be practicing, and everything will be good to go. Uh, Mike Gundy, who is the Oklahoma State head coach, he came out yesterday and said that uh, that he is planning on all of his staff to be back on May 1st and that the kids will come in a couple of weeks after that and they will go ahead and start preparing for the season. Now, the Oklahoma State athletic director and the, uh, the school president came out and said, whoa, 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 like the football coach does not get to make these decisions which absolutely tickled me to death because football coaches across this country seem to think that they make the rules, and it cracks me up to no end. Uh, the the stuff that they are oh, saying. Oh, me you both. Oh, it's it's unbelievable, and and I can understand it because they make more money than anybody else at the places where they work. Uh, but this absolutely drove me insane. I know Chris is going to have uh, he's going to have some comments on this, but uh, but when I saw the story. And and them backtracking on what he said, uh, it tickled me. Absolutely tickled me. Well, that's good. He needs to shut the hell up. <laughs> I knew you. I just, you know what? I'm a, I'm a I'm a huge college football fan, and I'm a huge college basketball fan, and have been all my life. And for the, for the tournament, you know, for the college basketball tournament to be canceled. I mean, that's like canceling the Super Bowl to me. Oh, yeah. And it's, I, but you, you know what else? Is, they didn't have really have a whole lot of choice. No. That, nobody has any kind of choice right now. It, like, it, there's no timetable. There's no, you can't come out and say, well, we're going to get started at this date and whatever, because we don't know. Like, we don't know how many people have this thing. We've never seen this virus. There's no vaccine. There's no, <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. You just got to hold tight, and we don't know how long you got to hold tight. Uh, but it is, you know, I, we had somebody else jump in on YouTube. It, it's the unknown factor if COVID-19 will evolve and become resistant to medications. Uh, we can try all kind of different things, and we don't know what it's going to do because we've never seen it. Well, it's, 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 um, it's pretty frightening that, that uh, you, you're, you know, you know I, I've, I've been in some fights in my life. But I usually can see what I'm fighting. Yeah. That's the scary you part. You can put some tapes on a hand and put your dupes up, and I still got the hand speed of Boom Boom Mancini, but uh, if I can't see it, then they put me in the nut house. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're, you're so right. You know what? You, 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 when, you, when you put 100,000 people into a stadium, you just, can't, you, you just can't take that risk. And even if uh, this thing comes to a fruition in the next 60 days, 30 days, whatever, you know, who says it didn't, it didn't pop back up? Oh, yeah. I mean, we can't crawl. I mean, we're the, we're the greatest country in the world. We can't crawl in a hole and hide. We have to move on with our lives. But it, it's got to be done in a timely fashion and it not, not, and not force the issue. I mean, when the president first came out to you know, everything's going to be at back up and open by Easter. I mean, I'm not a doctor, but I thought that was, you know, yeah, what, what's his, he got a crystal ball he's reading? Because I'm, I'm listening to the two doctors, the lady and the guy that's, that's been with him all this time. And they're all kind of like rolling their eyes going, man, you know, you're back up here. You're, you're, you know, you're, you're giving people false hope. And he did. And now, I mean, and, and, and look, you know what? Love him or hate him. He's the leader of our free country. You know, he could back off on the tweets every once in a while. That gets a little annoying. But you know what? My 401k up until uh, uh, February uh, 28th, 29th, 30th, whatever day, I was doing just fine. Oh, yeah. Now now, now, I had enough money to live till I was 90, and now I'm back up to 80. <laughs> That's, yeah, Hopefully it's, it's it a lot better than it was. It's a lot better than it was. So Hopefully uh, it rebounds. But, uh, well, hey, a week you know, and a half ago, uh, there was almost nothing left. I mean, I, I looked at my retirement, and I shouldn't have. I, I should have waited. I mean, that's why my counter told me. He said, nope, 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 don't look at us. It's through you. <laughs> so I called the guy over that holds my money. I'm like, hey, you know what? You ever seen that movie Casino when Joe Pesci tells the lawyer, I want my money? 
when I knock you out, you cut out of the coma, I'm getting out of prison, I'm going to knock your ass out again. Well, that's me. <laughs> like, let me see what I got. Let me let me put some eyes on it. Uh, yeah. You it's, know, it's so put it in a briefcase and bring it to the house. <laughs> <laughs> like, just give me what I got and don't let me lose any more of it. That's uh, it. You know, but, uh, it's, 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 it's a very frightening situation. And uh, uh, like I said, uh, college, I mean, to me, college football is bigger than college basketball. Oh yes, and and you know to, to even fathom. I mean, my poor son. I, I've never seen him so depressed in my life over anything, including his grandfather's death about of, of, of losing the college tournament, basketball tournament, and then he's he's he's, he's running through the streets because Chicken Little's telling him the sky's falling and we're not gonna have college football. I just this can't happen. Well, I'm kind of the same way, but you know you know what. There's there's bigger powers than us that, that call the shots, and all we can do is hope for the best. And, and I hope the good Lord uh, looks down on us and says, you know what? I think I punished you, you rat, rats enough. Now I hope you you figured out what uh, what's happened here and, and move on with your life. Not that I'm a highly religious guy, but I've been going to the Catholic Church a few times in my lifetime in the last fifteen years. So, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I but it's just it's 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 just a very very trying time that we've been through. I mean, I, you know, uh, 9-11, Pearl Harbor, all that stuff they keep talking about. It's worse than that. You know, uh, my father went through Pearl Harbor, and, uh, you know, I, I don't think he really ever got over it. He wasn't there, but, I mean, I'm just saying the fact of the matter that people that were living at that time and went through something like that, and 9-11, nobody's really ever really got over that. Yeah. And this is this is – this is worldwide, not just not just one state. Oh yeah, this is this is everywhere. Uh, I think there's only five countries in the entire world that don't have it, and the only reason that they don't have it is because they don't have tests. And that's it. well, the World Health Organization can kiss my Irish Italian ass. We pay them four hundred million dollars, not not to not to let us let us in on this little secret. Yeah, and, and, until it's too late. Oh, I I agree. I agree. I it, just, it's ridiculous. I just gotta got to tell you, man. That's that's uh, it, it, no. It it it, it it's, we we should have been informed. Uh, you would feel like we would be better prepared, you know. Uh, well, I agree with you. Unfortunately, we weren't. So now we're having to live with this, and you know, let's just hope to God that uh, this 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 goes away sooner than later. I mean, I, I'm a concert buff, still am, and I had to cancel 27 shows. I didn't know I mean, it was that many. I mean, we hit a brick wall. I mean, between what we had over Manglewood and what Mikey had over at Growlers, I mean, we we hit a brick wall. That's a, and and you don't know. If and you we had some. Those. Uh, you know, some of them would get rescheduled. I mean, we 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 we've already rebooked the uh, uh, the blues stage and in, in the in the front porch stage for uh, Bill Street Music Festival, but uh, uh, some of the acts on, on the other stages, I don't I don't I don't know. I'm not privy to all that don't really want to be privy to it but uh we've been called on some acts uh that uh can't fit it in their schedule or they're coming through sooner so you know i, I told mike yeah you know I, i'm not willing to put my neck out of line right now and send an offering on a show because we don't know what the future's going to entail yeah and it's and, and you know these agents uh you know they're they're, they're grasping straws right now I mean, oh, no, you're you're right about that. You are a hundred. Loud Nation, right if you you know if you, if you, if you got ten thousand dollars in cash laying around, you want to invest? Side Loud Nation stock. It's going to come back. <laughs> oh, it's it's going to come back with a vengeance. That's, and I, it's twenty six dollars a share that. right now. That's oh yeah, that, that's a it's a good one to buy. It's a good one to buy right now. Mike, let me uh, let me let you get out of here. We got to finish up this show. Uh, I will call you All once right, we guys. get done with this. I love you. Thank you so much for coming in and doing this. You bet, guys. Y'all be safe, okay? We certainly what will. The, what, 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 what the coppers tell you to do. <laughs> we, we will certainly pay attention. All right, we will talk okay. to you later on. All right, Tom. All right, bye. All right, that was Mike Glenn, concert promoter, former owner of the New Daisy Theater, former boxing promoter. Uh, lots of thoughts there, lots to discuss. We, uh, we won't hit on those topics. Obviously, we already hit on those topics. Chris, um, well, I, I guess it, you, you hadn't had a lot to say. But it's fine. It, We're good. It, nothing nothing really to hit on, love, right? Love listening to Mike tell stories. That's good. Oh, man, yeah. He's been he's, around. He's seen a lot of things. One of the best. So. 
One of the best. Got stories for everything. Everything. Um, last two topics that I wanted to hit with. Well, talk to me about Oklahoma State real quick. Uh, what were your thoughts hey, on it's this? It's just another coach saying something stupid. Different. I love this guy. I hated the other guy. But at the end of the day, he, he doesn't have any control. Yeah. And and he, he kept... I love guys that have hope, hope, right? I love yeah, that. Yeah. See, I, I, I'm, I'm struck in this... Like, I'm not one... I don't want to listen to somebody whine and complain about all the doom and gloom this is going to be. Right. But I also don't like the idea of false hope either. And that's all this is, is bullshit. Yeah. Like I, I'm very, I've always, I guess, seen myself as a realist and, and sometimes I take things way too badly. Sometimes I take things way better than I should and, and I end up getting let down. Something to take things just right. But, but I at least always see the real picture. Yeah. Okay. And I feel like these guys, they're, I guess it's just, they're just lying to us. They're just saying shit to say shit because they're bored. That, I because think that's I a lot of think it. of anything else they're saying. And, and you brought up the point about how, you know, they think they can run things. Well, shame on the school presidents and shame on the athletic directors. The reason these coaches think they can do whatever the hell they want is because these people have allowed them to do whatever the hell they want unchecked for so long. What, what I don't understand is why would you not prep these guys before they come out and talk what about these gonna, things? What are you going to tell them? What? What, if you picked up the phone right now and you were the athletic director for Alabama, what the hell do you think you could honestly tell Nick? If you I mean, told him, it. hey, don't say anything, do you think, has anybody at Alabama ever picked up the phone and told Nick, hey, don't? I, I mean, you got a point. You've got a very good point. I'm and just you damn sure can't do it now if you've never done it before. Because you ha- cause then they're just going to ignore you. You have to earn the right to be heard as a leader. You have yeah. to earn respect from the people that work for you. And if you've never stood up to these coaches before, you damn sure can't do it today. You just have to apologize for them and move on. But at the end of the day, while I look at Gundy and while I look at Dabo and I think moron, I look at the people behind them that work as their bosses, and I think weak leadership. Yeah, I do. And I, I would much rather be seen a fool, which a lot of people see me as that, that's fine, <laughs> than weak as a leader. Yeah. Absolutely, 100%. You can, you, a fool can be a fool. That's fine. But, but I, would, I would be devastated if somebody saw me as a weak leader, as a weak person. Yeah, I, uh, I, I could agree with that. I think those men before, behind them are weak. Um, yeah, I agree with you. I do agree with you. Uh, I, I don't know a way to stop it other than, uh, you can't, you can't, I mean, there's, you uh, don't uh, have I, a history of standing up to these people. You're not going to now you can ask them, but that, that would be like your child asking you to stop doing something. If yeah. you called your dad tomorrow and said, dad, stop doing something that you find annoying that your dad does. Is he going to listen to you at all? Not a chance. Cause, cause why would he? You're his child. Yeah, you're his child. That's not how this hierarchy goes. No, I'm you're father. I've lived this long, and what I do that annoys you is just part of you being my son. Get over it. Get over it. Yeah, you're you. right. You're right. That's that's, and, and I'm gonna be that way with my kids. That's fine. I'm still that way with my kid right now. They ask me to stop doing stuff all the time. No, no, I'm the adult. No, I'm the want. adult. I'm gonna do what I want to do. Yeah, uh, and that's the way it goes. So, and and they pay these guys so much. They are the highest paid. Um, employees at the, the entire state. school in the state not just in the school in the fucking state well in in the state as far as uh state employees go you know i mean obviously you got other guys that make a bunch and it it's not the same for every state but sure the coaches yeah. in california have a lot of tycoons that make a lot more money there's nobody in the state of mississippi making more than the football coaches okay? yeah there's some big money farmers that have inherited money and family money that has hundreds of millions of dollars but what they make a year out of what they produce and sell ain't that yeah agreed ain't agreed. that they, they they got some residuals coming in off of things that grandmama and granddaddy did you know 50 years ago 100 years ago but and that money's making money but but they're not actually earning a paycheck what what and it's mississippi what are they, $6 million, $5 million? Uh, yeah. 
I mean, that, I think, you're not, I think you're not Lane talking, is making four and a half or yeah, five. You're not right? talking nine million dollars that some of these guys are getting or eight, True. you know, whatever. You're not getting you're not close to that money. No, you're right about that. Uh, I do want to talk to you. I don't know if you heard this. 